AutoCAD 2010 provides us with some fantastic measuring tools that allow us to measure areas and volumes and distances. They're on the Home tab on the ribbon and they're over here on the right hand side in the Utilities panel just here. If I click on Measure you can see the options that I have there. Distance, Radius, Angle, Area and Volume. Now this is a 2D drawing not a 3D drawing so we won't be able to calculate any volumes. But what we can do is measure distances, radii, angles and area. So let's have a look at measuring a distance. If I click on the distance option and make sure that your object snaps are on otherwise your distances won't be accurate. If I go from there to there like so, two left clicks and it tells me the distance and also gives me the option now to go to another measure command. So I might want to measure a radius now. So I click on radius, click on the circle there there's the radius of my circle and also the diameter of my circle extremely useful let's measure for example an angle now I might want to measure an angle between two lines or anything a triangle a polygon but what I can do is I can click on the lines that I want to measure so I'm going to go for this line here and this line here there's my 90 degrees just there now you'll see that that's gone off the screen slightly out of the drawing area there It doesn't matter this little box here is telling me that that angle is 90 degrees. Now one of the new features that I really like in AutoCAD 2010 is the new features with the area command. I can now just literally go 1, 2, 3, 4 and press enter. What it does is it gives me the area that's bounded by those four points I selected. It gives me the perimeter as well. But more importantly what I really like is the green highlight you can't miss now where that area is that you've measured it's there right in front of you visual heads up display you can't miss it now what I really like about the area command as well is you can create a gross area and subtract areas of objects and also work out the net area so let's have a go at that click on area again here as your option but what you've got to remember to do when you're doing this you've got to add the gross area to zero first so it's a right click add area I'm now going to select one two three and four corner points right click and enter to confirm that's my gross area but I'm still in the area command so notice that I've got the option there specify first corner point or so I can either right click to bring up the shortcut menu or if I press the down arrow I can select an object now like so but I want to subtract first subtract area press the down arrow again and select object and I select circle and circle highlights them in a different color press enter as you can see there there's the area circumference and total area so it's showing me the total area of the large rectangle in the green subtracted are the two circles so as you can see there the total area equates to if I press enter again 2344920.3983 so that's the area of that green rectangle minus the two brown circles now the other area option if I just click on area again back into a new area command if I just right click and go object I can pick something like a polyline again it highlights it tells me the area tells me the perimeter that's why I was able to select those two circles as objects rather than having to go round their circumference for example which obviously is difficult to do so you can select it as an object instead so as you can see lots of new measuring tools available in AutoCAD 2010 very visual very obvious but more importantly productive quick and efficient